The Quran mentions similar stories that are found in the Bible, but it does not repeat the mistakes. Now, it is impossible for Muhammad, peace be upon him, to be an archaeologist, to be a historian, to be a linguist par excellence in order to know all these stories that, are, that have only come to light in the 19th century. I'll give you one quick example how I know the author of the Quran knew what was in the Bible and he knew the errors, the mistakes of the Bible which were not put down in the Quran. The story of Joseph in chapter 12, it makes a distinction between the king of Egypt in the time of Joseph, which was the old kingdom, and the king of Egypt at the time of Moses. Amazingly, the Quranic text makes a distinction between the two kings when it comes to their titles. Amazingly, shockingly, surprisingly. And I will give you the details very quickly right now. And this is to prove that the author of the Quran knew exactly what was in the Bible and what was inaccurate historically. And this was an inaccuracy in the text of the Bible. The king at the time of Joseph, which was the old kingdom, nearly 19th century BC or the 20th century BC, whenever Joseph li uh, lived, whatever um, chronology you may choose to follow, but that was definitely the old kingdom. At that time, the title Pharaoh was not used for the kings of Egypt. This much is very, very clear historically. An Egyptologist who deciphered the Egyptian language, the hieroglyphs, they have made it very clear that there was a family called the Hyksos. They were governing Egypt at the time. Hyksos kings were not known as pharaohs. They were simply called Humph, H-M-F, which literally means your majesty. Or this is how they were referred to. It was in the time of Moses, later on, somewhere around 14th century BC or 15th century BC, when the title Pharaoh was used for kings. Now, when we go to the text of the Bible in the book of Genesis, the king of Egypt is called Pharaoh in the time of Abraham. The king of Egypt is called Pharaoh in the time of Joseph. The king of Egypt is called Pharaoh in the time of Moses. Amazingly, the Quran does not repeat this historical error. The Quran referring to the king of Egypt in chapter 12, Surah Yusuf, calls him the king, simply the king, Malik. The title Malik for the king is there in chapter 12 of the Quran when the story of Joseph is being told. But when we come to Moses in the Quran, the king suddenly turns into Pharaoh. His title is Pharaoh, the Pharaoh. Now this is a subtle point in the Quran, but it is an accurate one. The author of the Quran clearly knew that this was an error in the Bible and only God could know that at that time because this fact, this very fact came to light in the 19th century. It was only in the 19th century when hieroglyphs were deciphered or decoded uh, satisfactorily and the scholars could read what was written in the temples and they came to realize that the title Pharaoh was not used during the old kingdom for the kings. So this is an example as to how we know that the author of the Quran knew well what was in the text of the Bible and this is why he criticized the corruption of the Bible in chapter 2 verse 79. In chapter 2, in chapter 2 verse 79 of the Quran, God Almighty, the author of the Quran, the one who revealed the Quran clearly describes how the Jewish people had corrupted their scripture. It categorically states, and I state, and I will quote, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فويل للذين يكتبون الكتاب بأيديهم ثم يقولون هذا من عند الله ليشتروا به ثمنا قليلا Woe be unto those who write books with their own hands and then they say these books are or they write the book actually they write the book with their hands and they say this book is from God Woe be unto what they write Woe be unto what they earn This refers clearly to the Israelite scribes who were writing the scripture and changing it as they went along and they attributed these changes, these interpolations, these additions in the text to God Almighty while the original Torah did not have these passages. So the Quran is very categorical about the scribes of the Israelites, how they had changed the scripture of Moses.